All right, so next we're going to have a look at how to um, perform some simple inventory adjustments uh, using the item uh, journal. So in this particular scenario, you go to your inventory or your stock and you realize that you have more in stock uh, of a particular good or item than you expected to have. So you would need to do a positive adjustment. So if you just start by looking at this uh, item card, our, our only item at the moment, and we go to the inventory, we'll see that um, we only, we have, first of all, we have zero of this, or we expect to have zero um, of, the, of this uh, book in, in stock. And, um, and this, this is because we initially bought one and then we sold it again. But now we're going to the stock or the inventory and uh, to our surprise on, there on the shelf uh, is a book. We don't really know where it came from, but it's there, so we need to record it. And um, if we go into, uh, well, the way to record such a positive uh, adjustment is to go into an item journal. And uh, we'll select this one, the default one. And we'll just post on the same date as we have been doing with the other transactions. So the entry type will be among the ones we can choose from. We're going to choose the one called positive adjustment. And next we need to indicate the item that we just found on inventory, which is a book. And we have to indicate how many we, uh, we found. Not the total, not the, the amount, but actually how many. So as we just found one, we need to indicate one. So when we post this, uh, we're going to get an, a posting error because we haven't set up um, all, the, all the, the posting groups to, to actually handle this transaction. So let's just uh, try to post it and get those uh, error messages. By the way, you can see that the unit cost has been uh, set to 100 and that is because our last uh, direct uh, purchase cost or registered cost for this particular book was 100 pounds and that was because we bought it for 100 pounds so let's try to um, oh yeah and just another note if we were to um, change this to 2 then obviously the total amount for the line would, would change to 200 but for the moment we just want to register 1 so if we click post here Well, first of all, we'll see that we need a document number. So let's just put in some random document number. And we'll try again. So the first error message here that we're getting, probably the only one actually, um, is that in the general posting setup. So we have to open the general posting setup. And then it's saying that um, in, the, in the general business posting group blank and books, um, well, actually it's saying that this line doesn't exist. So let's, let's uh, create this line first. The reason that the general business posting group is blank is, uh, is not an error, it's, 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 uh, it's correct. And the reason is that when we, are, when we are making a positive adjustment, there is no trading partner involved. So there's not a customer involved and there's not a vendor involved. Um, but we do have a general product posting group which belongs to the item. So if we just, as usual, we just take a snippet so that we have this error message if, if we need it. And we'll say, okay, so we'll go to the general posting setup. Just pull that one aside. Post setup. And it's saying that it cannot find a line with the combination of, of blank and books. So we need to put in one here, blank and books. So we're going to create a new one. And business posting group needed to be blank. And this one over here needed to be books. So let's start by that. All right, so now we have one of these lines. We're probably going to get another error message. Well, we will get another error message, but let's just uh, have a look at what happens when we post it. So we click post. So now it's past the initial error message. So now it's saying that an inventory adjustment account must have a value in general uh, posting setup, um, the, the blank one and, and books. 
So again, we're just going to take a snippet of this one, so we have it. And basically, the reason it's complaining about this one, or put in, a, in another way, there you need to debit one account and you need to credit another account when you have a, a an inventory um, adjustment. And because your inventory is increasing, that means you're, that your inventory account uh, is going to be debited. And we all we've already set up up, up our inventory account. Let's just say okay. Um, but we haven't. Um, but an increase in inventory needs to be reflected by something positive in our um, income statement. So this is actually a sort of a way to make some money. So we need to go and uh, this inventory adjustment account needs to be in our uh, PNL. So we need to go and, and get that set up. So first we could we can go to our general posting setup. And we'll just highlight this one, uh, this one, sorry, the one we just made, and we'll click edit. So the account that it, it's saying isn't, isn't there it is one called inventory, inventory adjustment account. So if we make a look up to our chart of accounts, we need to choose this uh, account. But we actually haven't created this account yet because we haven't had the need to, to use it yet. So um, there are there are diff you you could either argue that it should be in in the in the income or sale area that would be if items just uh, constantly appear out of the blue but more more uh, the, the more no normal circumstance is that they disappear so usually this adjustment account is a cost account and it would be more sensible to put it in, in the cost area here so let's make a new account in the cost area called inventory adjustment and let's just take the next one in the row so 40 50 inventory adjustment it's an income statement and we need to be able to uh, to post to it so we click OK and now we can choose it so it goes over here inventory adjustment account we click OK and we'll just close our general posting setup and go back to our journal. So once again, we try to post it. The journal lines were successfully posted. Okay. So let's have a quick look at how this, what implication this has had. And I'm just going to show you a new way to investigate this particular transaction. So we've got another um, way to look at this, something called um, GL uh, or um, GL reg registers. So it's called uh, GL registers, this one. And if you click it, you get uh, a long list of all the transactions, one line per transaction. So the transaction we just made was this last one here. And um, if we click it, we can see that, that this um, line is responsible for GL entries between 28 and uh, 29. So it's just two entries here. But we can click up here and we can also do a advance to get a full view of the window. And we will see that it's it's these two lines because it uh, was 28 and 29. And we can see that our um, inventory account should be this one. Our inventory account has been debited or increased by the value of the of the item, and our our cost account has actually also been. We this is a good thing for our company, so it's you could call it a negative cost or an, a kind of income. So that does it for the financial aspect, but um, obviously this has some other implications as well. If we go back to our item. Our book here and we double click it we see that we now have an uh, a book uh, in stock in inventory so this line has been added here and of course from from this line you could also navigate and find all the other entries as well there we go um, so that does it for the positive adjustment all right so next I'm going to show you how to do a negative adjustment and as you might suspect, we have to do almost the same. 
So we go to item journal. And of course, a negative adjustment is if you go to your inventory and you realize you have less on your physical inventory than what your system is telling you. So right now we go back to our inventory and we go to the shelf, which uh, usually has the book. And uh, to our surprise, we see that now uh, there are no books. Although our system says we have one book, uh, we, have, we actually have no, no books. So we need to make a negative adjustment. So we go to item journal and we choose a negative adjustment here. And we'll choose our book like that. And we will choose one. So negative and one. It also carries out the, the same cost here. So let's try to post it. Um, there we go. So we already set up the accounts in the in the previous when we when we did the the, the positive adjustment. So we didn't need to set up any posting accounts uh, for this particular transaction. But we can of course go again. Let's just go to the GL registers again. And we'll see the bottom line now here has um, another two. And if we click that, we can see it has it, it, it is responsible for entries 30, 30 to 31. And if we go advanced, we can see that it's the same same two accounts that have been impacted just uh, just with opposite figures here. So our inventory and our um, adjustment account. If we go to the item card, to no surprise, we will be able to double click this one, go to see and, and see our inventory is now zero. Look up to our um, item ledger entries and see um, how this zero is made up of the different item ledger entries.